Hey y'all, it's Kay from Love Story, and today we're going to talk about Year One by Nora Roberts. Um, I just finished this this morning, and I'm here to give a quick review. And as you know, my reviews are mostly spoiler-free. If you want to see spoilers, check out my reading vlog with this on it. Um, but let's get right into it. So I gave this book a low 3 out of 5 stars. I thought the story was a good base story, but she needed to start it way later in the book, meaning, um, how to describe this without giving away spoilers, we had way too much at the start that we didn't need. And there is a certain point in the book where if you've read this book, you know what I'm talking about. That's probably about three quarters of the way through the book, maybe halfway, where it would have, if she started, if Nora Roberts started at that point in the book, it would have been great and just carried forward with that. Um, we got way too much at the start, and we skipped back and forth between characters so much that I didn't feel like I could really connect to any of the characters. So then when things really started getting going, I didn't really feel one way or another about the actions happening in the characters because I didn't have a chance to connect to any one character or any group of characters so much. Um, to me, the characters were, you know, just okay. I didn't feel like they were really great or horrible on the other end. They just felt like average characters. And maybe this will change as I go farther into the um, series because I know that Howard, the other half of Love Story, has the other two books wrapped up for me to continue on. I'll probably start on the second book tomorrow. Um, so I thought it was, you know, a decent book. It could have been a lot better, but it could have also been a lot worse, which is why I gave it a three stars, an average rating. Um, and some quotes that I pulled out from the book, I have got two quotes here. The first one says, he thought it a shame their last act in life would be one of such ugliness. And this one uh, touched me because there's good and there's bad people in the world and there's always a chance for people to redeem themselves but sometimes people just choose to continue being bad when they could just be good and this is kind of what this quote is getting at is that sometimes the bad people just choose to end their life on bad things instead of being good and you know just like um this character, it's a, I feel like it's a shame that people choose to do that. It's a choice. It's not, they're not forced to do it. It's a choice. Um, and then the second quote, I can't, I'll read it out and I'll talk about it a little bit, but I talk about this one more in, um, I talk about both of these quotes more in detail in the reading vlog where I can actually go into it. So the second quote says, the way I see it, the biggest problem we've had from the get is people pointing fingers and worse at who aren't like them. We ought to try to do better this time around. It might be our last chance to get it right. And this quote stood out to me because it's very telling of just our world today. Um, one of the things about year one was that it was so too much like real life right now with um, carnivorous virus going around and social unrest and all of this stuff that's going on in especially the U.S. right now in 2020 really year one really hit home to everything going on and it's crazy because this was written years ago before all this happened and it's almost like it's Nora Roberts predicting what's going to happen um, but this quote about you know people pointing figures at people that aren't like them is essentially the base of prejudice and racism and you know maybe this new year coming up in 2021 is our chance to finally set aside all of our differences and get it right and be able to just get along as human beings instead of trying to separate between different races and different genders and different socioeconomic statuses and all of these differences set aside our differences and just come together as a whole in humans and humanity and get it right for once because we've had so much war and all of the history of humanity maybe this is our chance to finally come together and be good for once um, and so that's why I really that quote really stood out to me so like I said I gave year one by Nora Roberts um, 
three out of five stars. I thought it was decent, good, good story. I'm interested to see where it goes and Howard tells me that it gets crazy in book two and book three. So I'm interested to keep reading this series and um, I will check in with y'all again when I get have more to update about on book two. But you know the drill, keep reading, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell all your friends, help us keep growing. Let me know if you've read year one in the Chronicles of the One series. Let me know what you thought. Um, let me know what you're reading, what you're looking forward to reading coming up in January. And we'll talk to y'all again soon. Have a great day.